This is CES M M A. All right, Scott, here we go. Bout number one of the evening in the welterweight division. Tyson Chartier in the black trunks. Kevin Horowitz in the blue. This one's going to be exciting. Ty Tyson Don't Chartier play. coming off his first career knockout in his last bout in August. He knocked out Tim O'Connell right at the bell in the opening round of that bout. That was August 3rd at Twin River, and it was the first knockout of his career, and a lot of his friends joked it was the first punch he ever landed. Obviously, Tyson <laughs> Chartier, known for his ground game, but showed a little bit Without of a a power in his hands on that bout. Well, we've seen Horowitz before, and he is extremely tough, hard to finish. He is every bit as tough as they come for, for MMA, and you can see where he's looking to engage first here, coming in off the jab and just missing on that uppercut. Howitz from Queens, New York, somewhat of an MMA journeyman, Scott. He's traveled around the globe True. fighting, but on fighting CES cards, he's actually two and one. And there's a quick slip. He, Tyson looked like he was trying to throw his rear leg, and Shardier maybe the mat was a little bit light. A little bit of trouble here for Shardier as he goes down. Horowitz needs to get that hip forward to, to free his leg. He needs to put a little bit of pressure to the back of Chadia's head. Horowitz is, is doing a good job controlling north to south with an over under. And he's working some good ground and pound here. He has good position. You're going to see Tyson try to roll either to God, but Horowitz is doing a really good job of preventing that at the moment. Horowitz, no such. He beat Sean Sumi by unanimous decision in February at Twin River, so he does have wins. Fight. Yeah. Absolutely. You can see Tyson working his way up right now. Tyson Shotty is working his way up, and Horowitz has his back, and a little, little drop, quick little drop to get him back to the floor. Tyson Chaddy doing a nice job of reversing that. Now he uses a small butterfly sweep, and now he's looking to go to a choke with an arm in, north to south. Nice job reversing by Chartier. 3.26 to go in round number one. So far, the action on the ground where Chartier is certainly comfortable. Same would go for Horowitz. He's kind of high right now. You can see how high that, that Tyson Chaddier was, and that's why Horowitz had, was able to grab a leg and work him back off to the mat as opposed to have him stay on his back. Chartier coming into the ring tonight fighting in honor of his friend Craig Northcutt. He was damaged heavily in an ATV accident, paralyzed in half of his face, broke every bone in his face, and wow. is actually permanently blind in his right eye. And Tyson, of course, is working to help raise money A little extra motivation for medical there, bills. Sure. So certainly uh, Tyson Chartier has some motivation behind him tonight as he fights for his friend Craig Northcutt. Well, so Horowitz far, is, so is good. really taking his time, very patient. As we've seen in the past, he put an arm in to prevent the choke back to his feet. All this, right. is, this is every much... There's a great rear team. Great kick to the midsection by Horowitz, catching Chartier off guard. This is every bit the way we see Horowitz all the time. Just a grinder. Never, never in an extremely bad position for any great length of time. Short punches, and you can hear his corner. You can hear Sid tongue with Mark Delagradi in his corner tonight. Nice straight left hand. Howard, certainly the aggressor on the on, uh, in the stand-up game, Scott, thus far. And to be honest, Mike, I'd have to say all around, even on the ground, he was on, on top for quite a long time, was reversed. Nice job by Shadia, but Horowitz, again, here we see nice hip in, pressing against the cage, and, and really working some ground and pound. You know, and Shadia has a real decorated amateur background, having competed in Vegas in the Tough Enough gym. And right now, though, Kevin Horowitz taking it to him in round number one, just under just two minutes how, to go. When you said journeyman, you see how composed he is. It was Absolutely. a great call. And that's something, you have a guy with a 500 record, it, that, the record necessarily doesn't speak to how tough and how gritty he is and how composed he's going to be now. That's a lot of fights. And journeyman doesn't necessarily mean he's a bad fighter. It just means he's been around the block a exactly. bit. Exactly. And he knows what to expect. And like you said, he comes in here cool, calm, collected. No sense of nerves whatsoever against Tyson not, Chardier. Not his first rodeo. Absolutely. You can see where Tyson Chaddy has cut up a little bit at the top of the head. Yeah. And those are from strikes that I, that from via ground and pound. Now Tyson Chaddy is looking to maybe grab a guillotine here, but Horowitz pulls out. Straight left hand by Horowitz. Now to the body and a nice short left hook. Some nice stand up by Horowitz, like you said, working the body. Chaddy are down again. He's being controlled and he's right back up. Nice job. These guys are doing a really good job of controlling each other and, and also scrambling. So it's, it's one of those things where whoever's making the mistake first, the other guy's working his way out. Nice combinations by Horowitz. Really putting it on now, going to the body with the right hand. Nice left over the top. And this Tyson Shadi with the knee off the cage. I'd say Horowitz doing a great job working the body and going upstairs when he has to. Every time Shadier brings that guard up, Horowitz working the midsection. There's a front leg kick, showing a little bit of everything. Oh, he just walked in. Horowitz just walked into a short right hand. Now you see Horowitz looking to shoot inside, and there wasn't much of a shot. It was more of a drop. And you can see what Tyson Shadi is now. 
looking, if I, I'm trying to get that better angle, it looked like he went for a 10-figure guillotine at the moment, and then of course let it go. Howard's doing a nice job for side control, where you see Chartier looking to drop those short elbows. Tyson working that left elbow. Looks like Harwitz may be a bit dazed here in the closing seconds of this round, Scott. And there it is, the bell for round number one. Great action all around on both sides. Chartier finishes strong, but Harwitz, for the most part, had control in that opening round. Uh, yeah, I'd have to agree. And although the fight did go back and forth, it did it, it did look to me that was more of a Chartier round. Actually, I'm sorry. You know what? I can't even call it a Chartier round. I think Horowitz did really good. Um, it's, it's a tough one. I, I wouldn't want to score it. But it, again, I think, like you said with Horowitz, he hey, dominated the down. He dominated it when it was down on the ground. I'll tell you what, Scott, I feel that way for most fights in this area. It's hard to score a lot of these rounds. These fights are so closely matched by matchmaker Pat Sullivan that you really don't know which way to go. And sometimes these guys are in that cage. It goes back and forth. And when there's a lot of ground and pound involved and not much stand-up, sometimes it's hard to score. And it's equally hard to determine which direction the judges will go in. That's sometimes the most difficult part. It's true. And there's a new scoring system being introduced into MMA, which is allowing more 10-8 rounds. And you'll see that more often. If a fighter keeps another fighter on the ground in a, in a you know stagnant position and just keeps working you'll start to see more 10 8 rounds because of it all right bell rings for round number two in this welterweight bout tyson the wild boar chartier in the black trunks and kevin harwitz from queens new york in the blue leg that was caught by tyson chartier. chartier catching the leg both fighters pop back up quickly and it's Harwood's just asserting his will and his force right now, Scott. It's really gritty. That's a great call, Mike. As you, you can see, like, right now, he's real patient. He's really calm. He doesn't get flustered, and that's exactly the journeyman, like you had mentioned earlier. He's a grinder. Exactly He correct. just grinds it out, and he's going to make you fight his fight. And so far, I think that's what he's doing with Tyson. Shardy are really not able nice to establish his game. And again, like you said, great combinations by Horowitz. Still trying to work that body, just pressing Shardy against the cage. That's the difference in the striking at the moment. Tyson Shardy has thrown one punch, and he caught hit Horowitz with it, as you just saw, a short left hand. He did catch him with a nice left. But I'm Horowitz surprised Horowitz, throwing. yeah, he walked right through it. Yep, and Horowitz is throwing three and four punches combinations as opposed to one one punch pot shots and that's what's causing a little more damage and kind of slowing Tyson Chadia down. Big right by Chadia. I thought he almost had a single leg takedown moments ago but Horowitz sort of backed away. Exactly correct. 354 to the go. Left hook, the right hand. You saw a nice crisp right hand left hook by Horowitz that, that shook Tyson. He landed a nice left there. I think Chadia a little bit shook up. Still on his feet, though. 3.43 to go in the second round of this welterweight bout. We're just one bout in to real pain presented by Classic Entertainment and Sports. And, of course, later on tonight, the highly anticipated debut <laughs> yeah, of David right. Bautista. That's going to be fun. But so far right now, we've got great action. Nice short elbow bout. off the cage. And that was a great return by Horowitz with a, sh with a rear leg to the ridge. Both fighters have earned each other's respect. You can see nobody feels like they're can impose their will 100% stand up. Sidekick, you saw that come by Harwitz where he was setting it up. But again, there's Harwitz with five or six straight punches. He's landed some good shots here. I mean, Shardy are so far staying composed, but these do take their toll after a while. Most certainly do. And you're also going to see a little bit of fatigue in its, where its hand position right now. Absolutely. Those punches stop becoming straight. They start becoming loopy. Horowitz is bleeding from the nose, so you're not sure if he's having a hard time breathing now through his nose. That could be a factor as well. Spinning wheel wow. kick. That was, uh, that was well thrown. Say, he Off the mark, but well thrown. Yeah, he, he came pretty and, and close Tyson to Tyson answers him. with the left hook and a right hook by Horowitz. That if blood's really is, flowing from Horowitz's nose there. It most certainly is. If this is any indication of the card we have in front of us tonight. Well, we're going to have a blast. Nice takedown. You see that was a little foot trip. He hooked the, hooked the ankle with his ankle and allowed him to come straight down. Horowitz is bleeding from the nose, and you can see that on Tyson Chadia's stomach. And Chadia is working short elbows off his back. They're in the middle of the cage at the moment, which should allow Chadia an easier stand-up. You can see he, where he's reaching over for an umpire. He's going to... Tyson Chadia is trying to, to grab that, that right arm and kind of bump him over in a sweep. Harwood's is doing a great job controlling his hips, elbows are in tight, and puts him right, put Tyson right back on his back. 
I'll tell you, even though he looked great against Sean Sumi in the last fight, this is as good, I think, as Harwood has looked at any point in his career. That's a great point. And it's yeah, against a real point. tough competitor, a standout amateur with a lot of big fights before he turned pro. It's a great, it's a great job thus far by Harwood. I'm very impressed. One and a half to go in round number two. And again, Harwood's just sort of maintaining, trying to deliver those shots to the rib cage. Maybe get Shardier to drop his guard. Yeah, I really elbows. like yeah. those short elbows into the shoulder, into the tricep. What it does, if it's not damaging you, what it's doing is it's making you not stay in that position. Exactly. It's forcing you to move and react to it. Nice big, passed it up, and he threw a nice big right hand. Harwitz is doing a great job controlling, controlling the hips, and he stepped over now into half. He's in half guard. Tyson Chatty is doing a good job working his head and wrist control. And again, Harwitz staying in great position. So we're keeping that ground a pound. This fight is not boring at all. They've been on the ground for quite a bit of it. Look at that, a knee from the ground to the belly by Horowitz. And it's only the first fight of the evening. We've got 13 tonight. And you're already getting a taste of what you're gonna see throughout the night. There's 30 seconds left in the second round and these guys haven't stopped. Maintained a great pace. Chartier obviously in a real disadvantageous position right now. It's tough for him to do anything, and the judges would tend to favor the aggressor. Right, Horowitz just spun around, too. He, he looked like he was going to pass to Mount and faked it so he could now spin over north to south to take his back and end this round. He's, about he's got a chance to maybe end this fight, Scott. He needs a lot more punches. Oh, oh yeah. reverse elbow by Taddy and slow down. Chartier catches well him with the elbow at the end. Uh, Horowitz was landing unanswered for about six or seven blows, but like you said, not Play really enough to cause any sort of stoppage. We're only two rounds into this fight card. If you're enjoying this free preview right now, get on the phone and order with DirecTV pay-per-view. You're only going to get an hour's worth of action for free tonight before it cuts over into fades to black, and then that's it for you. You will be locked out and left out in the cold. If you're enjoying what you're seeing thus far, make sure to get on the horn right now and order this bout from DirecTV. And we have one more round to go in this welterweight bout. And as you look into the ring right now, you see the man with the iron fist logo emblazoned across the center of that you canvas, do, of do. course. The Man with the Iron Fist is one of the chief sponsors for tonight's event, Universal Studios, and they are presenting, they are presenting Dave Batista's new movie coming out on November 2nd. If you like Kung Fu, if you like the RZA, if you like Russell Crowe, and if you like the brass body Dave Batista, you're going to love that movie as well. And if you love Dave Batista in general, you're going to love this fight card as we get toward the nitty-gritty down the stretch. But right now we are in the first bout of the evening, this welterweight showdown. Tyson the Wild Boar short here, <coughs> excuse me, facing Kevin Horowitz. And right now I think Horowitz... Has been in control of this fight, and right now I, it's his to fight to you. lose as we go into the third round. This is going to show the urgency. Which fight? Are, exactly. I don't think it's clean cut. We never want to go no. to the judges. We've said that a million times. We've seen some strange decisions. Overhand left certainly. to open up by by Chadia. That just proves your point, Michael. Where he knows he has to come out. Tyson's a little more aggressive with his strikes now. He may very well need a knockout submission, either of the two, to end this bout. Otherwise, he may go home with the 500 record at three and three. We'll see what happens. Just 30 seconds into this third and final round, we'll see if Chardier just picks his spot here or if he just takes his time. You can he's see got Horowitz now, he's switching to southpaw, something he's done in the past. And he did, a, he did a great job of throwing that rear leg kick. There's your side kick. He's a little unorthodox. You see him with a bit of a Taekwondo background where he jumps around a bit. Spinning wheel kick we saw earlier. If I'm Horowitz, I'm watching out for those short elbows. Tyson did a nice job trying to trip him. Horowitz saw it and stepped over. And again, we're right back to where Horowitz ended the second round. That's right, picking up. Those are kind off. of flush now. Those punches are landing better. Tyson's up quickly. And I think that right hand shocked him just a little bit. A short right elbow, excuse me, short left elbow by Tyson Chadia backs off Horowitz. Nice job getting up back onto his feet. That could have ended ugly in that exchange there yes, against the cage. Have. And Chartier pops up back to his feet. The fight now in the center of the canvas. 3.45 to go in the third and final round. Kevin Horowitz in the blue trunks. Tyson Chartier in the black. It's been all action thus far in this opening bout. It's been tremendous. Nice short left hand by Tyson. You also can see now where Tyson is stalking. He's the one that's carrying a little bit of this pressure here. He's been coming forward. Oh, well, he almost walked into a knee. Horowitz did as he looked to come down. Tyson brought the knee straight up. Again, Another same knee. thing again. You saw where Horowitz went to change levels, and Tyson very intelligently brought the knee up, caught him with that knee off the, off the cage. Horowitz desperately looking for this takedown. He's got 100% here. Tyson Chaddy is looking at 100% to try to roll him over. 
He's trying to, what, I think the referee just wanted him not to grab his glove. Right. Not, not his own glove, of course. Tyson can grab his own arm. But can't, can't grab Horowitz's right. glove. Can't grab Horowitz's nice glove. Nice shot by Horowitz to get out of that hole. Still not out of the woods yet. Two and now he's on to his back. Horowitz reversed an excellent job. Continuing to grind. Kevin Horowitz doing a great job in this third round. Chartier needs to make something happen quickly. He's only got two and a half minutes to go. Ideally, would like to get back to his feet here and try to reset himself. It seems that way. I mean, how, you can see where Horowitz has done a great job of controlling for the most part, there's been a lot of reversals, but a great job of controlling Tyson Chattier on the ground. The stand-up's been back and forth. I wouldn't even call it even. It's, it, there's I been agree. some great great flurries by both parts. I, I'd be, I'd, I think Horowitz has landed uh, more punches to Tyson's stronger punches or more power punches. I agree 100%. Both fighters have had their moments. Horowitz arguably more aggressive in stand-up, but Chattier landing some shots that's caught Horowitz in his tracks. Absolutely. Now, Horowitz is looking just to maintain good position here. You can see him working the body. He has his left knee into the into the hips of Tyson Chattier, allowing him not to turn all the way in. He's working a strong cross freeze. Now Horowitz passed the side control, 100% side control. And look at a great job by Tyson to scramble up and reverse that position. Excellent job by Tyson Chattier. Now Tyson looks to attack. Ah, he lost it off his back. This is such a back and forth fight. The guys are so slippery, they're so wet with the blood that's there. Howard's not letting him get separation. That's the last thing he wants to do to let Tyson let his hands fly. He's just keeping himself pressed up against his opponent and in turn keeping his opponent pressed against that cage. This, nobody is, every, once one of these fighters start putting a little something together, the other fighter won't allow it to get past that. Overhand, right hand, to kind of graze the chin. One minute to go in this bout. Nice duck under by Horowitz. Horowitz slipping. And now you see a blitz by, by Tyson Chartier. Chartier trying to take advantage of Horowitz being off balance. He does get him to the ground. Now trying to work that elbow. He worked that small elbow to his ear, which is a nice short elbow, trying to break the takedown attempt. Now he's looking to grab Kimura, and he used the Kimura to sweep Horowitz off. Tyson's going to suppress the head and try to stand right back up. Another tough round to call, Scott. It's, it's, it's been back and forth. I'm very happy to be calling the fights with you, my friend, rather than judging them. Absolutely. 20 seconds to go in this third and final round of the opening bout of Real Pain. Shardier just trying to make something happen. Not sure how this one's going to go, but it He's looks like it's going to go the distance. He's desperately yep. to grab this guillotine, and he, he lost it. He jumped it, and you can see Horowitz reversed him. North to south. Horowitz now to side control. Needs to drop a couple of short elbows and end, it, end this round in a flurry, and he might have stolen it. Absolutely, and there he goes. Maybe, great fight. Maybe too little, too late there at the end, but a great ending to a great fight. Tyson, the wild boar, Chartier, and Kevin Horowitz from Queens helping each other off the canvas. A great show of sportsmanship. Absolutely. And I would think a lot of mutual respect on both sides after this fight. Well, if they didn't have it before, they should now. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> well, that was certainly a great debut to this card, a great introduction as we bring you this free one hour window into what we have presented tonight. Of course, this fight being broadcast live on DirecTV pay-per-view. You have to order it, $29.95. Make sure to do so if you haven't already. Otherwise, at 8 o'clock, this one is going to shut off. We're going to be going live, and you will be left out in the cold, unfortunately. And you don't want to miss what we have in store tonight. Mike the Beast Campbell on the card, Todd the Hulk Chattel, Dave the Crow Loizo. Loizo, yeah, Dave the Crow. And it's great. I mean, that's that's two vet UFC veterans there going back and forth. John Doomsday Howard, another UFC veteran. You're I heard of him. With John. You've heard of him a little I've bit, right? I've heard of John. <laughs> We've got so much in store. You've got to order this pay-per-view. This one's going to be tremendous. And you should already be on the phone right now if you haven't already after seeing this first bout. We're going to go to the judges soon to check out how it went. But I'll tell you, Scott, it was back and forth from the start. I think Harwitz really asserted his will those first two rounds. Third round, really tough to score. It's going to be interesting to see how we go. But let's send it down right now to Bill Carpenter for the official word to see who won this opening bout between Tyson Chartier and Kevin Horowitz. Ladies and gentlemen, after three five-minute rounds of action in the cage, let's go to our judges' scorecards for your official decision. Uh, Judge Wayne Lima, Dave Ginsburg, and Mike Cordero all score the bout identically, 30 to 27, for your winner by unanimous decision, Kevin Horowitz.